Hello everyone, peace of the Lord Jesus Christ with everyone. The topic now is about Surah 3 verse 28 and this is the book, this is Al-Quran and this is the book of uh, Ibn Abbas, the Tafsir, Explanation. This is Islamic explanation, not mine. This is Islamic translation, not mine, because I know Muslims will say, uh, this is your translation, you are a liar, etc. So, what this verse is about? This is a verse Allah is allowing Muslims to lie officially and legally and not to think that lying to non-Muslims it's a sin you are allowed as a Muslim to lie to non-Muslims you know you will see a Muslim saying no 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 this is a surah saying we can lie only if somebody put a gun in your head we are not stupid we will not let somebody kill us okay we will say a lie and people they do that in wartime always this is not the case and this is a lie and we will show how this is the explanation and this is your translation let not believers take the believer oath not to take the hypocrite so let us not to take the believers not to take the non-believers as a friends this is what the whole idea and here about who they are the unbelievers the Christian and the Jew Take them as what? For their friends. And if someone, he do that. If someone from the Muslims, he decide to take Christian or Jew as a friend, what will happen to him? He has no connection with Allah. He's not a Muslim anymore. For what? For taking Jewish and the Christians and disbelievers as a friend. So you are out of Islam. So when somebody says to you, this is a verse, it's about enemy, protecting yourself as an enemy. You see, the, the, the verse in here is talking about people who they are friends. He's encouraging people to hate each other. He's encouraging the Muslims to hate the Christian and the Jew. Those people are friends. And he's forbidding them from taking them their friends. They are not an enemy. They are not an enemy. It's very clear because you cannot say to someone, you know, we are friends when he is your enemy. Your friend is a friend. We know what friend means. Friendship is a lot more than just uh, uh, even a neighbor. It's a friend. It's someone you trust. So you cannot take those who they are Jewish or Christians as a friends. So as become mightily mighty and honorable and he prefer to believers preference to believers so who are sincere who so who so do uh, 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 that seeking might and honor so the one who seek might and honor by taking hypocrites and disbelievers as a friends okay what will happen to him he had no connection with Allah. He's out of Islam anymore. That's it. You are apostate. Just for taking a Christian or a Jew as a friend. If he mean it really, Allah will consider him out of Islam. If he mean it for real as a friend. And he has no honor and no mercy or a protection from Allah. Which means no protection from Islam. So, you know, Muslims will kill him for doing that. And he's continuing and listen carefully now unless it be that you but guard yourself against them you guard yourself against them by saying to them I am your friend D did you notice you guard yourself against them by what by saying to them I'm your friend I am a Muslim but I am your friend to make it easier for you to explain like in America now you will see a Muslim who live in the West or Australia or Canada he say he will not say to you loudly in public you know I I support the killing of American or support the killing of American soldiers or hey Allahu Akbar they killed an American soldier today no he will not do that because he is doing what he is doing guard yourself against them so he is teaching you to be a hypocrite, liar, as long 
you are guarding yourself against them claiming to be a friend for them as long you are guarding yourself against them which means you don't mean it you cannot take them real for real as a friends but you can be a hypocrite and lie to them and say I am your friend and what is the reason you are guarding yourself against them same as guarding Islam for anything like if you debate a Muslim and you say to him is it true that Muhammad he did have sex with Aisha at the age of six if a Muslim he said the truth he will expose his prophet this is not acceptable so he will say no 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 she was 18 but he knew she was six but he have to guard himself against you by lying and in here you will notice that the God of Islam is allowing Muslims to be hypocrite claiming to be friends claiming to be friends to who to the Jewish and non disbeliever and the Christians so as long you are doing that how let us see how they are doing that saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way oops towards them with while your heart dislike this when your heart is full of hate so you speak to them in a very friendly way you know <laughs> Look how filthy this God is. You speak to them in a very friendly way, which means you say things. It's not true. You know, I love America. I love the American army. I love the French army. I love the German. I, you know, I live in Germany. I love Germany. It's so nice. You know, I love this country. But inside your heart, you hate them. Because, you know, if you say that to them, they might deport you out of the country. They will cause you harm. Or you might expose Islam so the God of Islam is allowing people to be hypocrite liars you say something saying yourself saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way while in your heart dislike this so in his heart he hates you to death in his lips he loves you to death this is what it's called taqiyya, which means protection. He is allowed to be a big time liar as long as he is protecting Islam from being exposed. So in your heart, you have to hate them all. But in your lips, you can worship them if you want. And Allah, he knew what you have in your heart. Don't worry about it. You can lie as much as you want. So in here, you will see it's not about somebody putting a gun in your head as Muslims, they, they lie to you. It's about people who they are. They want to be your friends. And they are your friends. Allah he is telling them, you cannot take them your friends. So they are not enemies who they having guns in their hands and they want to shoot you. This is number one. You cannot take them their friends unless... And if you take them as a friends, what, you know, before we forgot... The one who take them as a friends, he's making a big, big mistake. He's out of Islam, had no connection with Allah, and has no honor, and no mercy, and more, no protection. All of this just because you took a Christian or a Jew as a friend. You see how filthy this God teaching Muslims to hate you to death, but you can claim that you are their friend unless it be that you, but guard yourself against them. How you guard yourself against them? As we said, save yourself from them. Talking as it were, security. Saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way towards them with. Well, while your heart is dislike this. So you say things to them in your lips you don't mean and you should not mean if you mean Allah has no connection with you Allah will have no mercy on you you are out of Islam and you are a filthy man for taking them for real as a friends so if you take them for real as a friends this is a proof that there is nobody is putting guns in your head right because you cannot force me by gun to be your friend I'm not going to be your friend and here is talking about not to take them as a friends So it's about a relationship of a friendship. He's warning them from taking Christian and Jew as a friends. And if you do so, you are a big, 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 big hypocrite. 
liar out of Islam you have no mercy from Allah you have no protection unless you protect yourself from them which mean you say things to them by how protection look at the protection from the protection way we will see what the verse mean because if I am under risk by gun speaking friendly will not save me he will shoot me anyway he will kill me anyway so by speaking friendly you can save yourself and you say something in your heart it's not the same thank you all Jesus is Lord and you see this is the fate of Islam being explained and exposed thank you